to be a great people, Kalel. They wish to be. They only lack the light to show the way. Everybody, welcome to the video. And we're walking into Savers. That you saw in the glass, and there's actually some oak leaves I spotted, and both were fake. So let's head back here to the baggy wall. sound machine but oh I didn't realize the price yeah we're gonna put that back not for $15 there got two bags of these VTech games they're worth more than $3.99 about 20 bucks we bundle them up so maybe a little bit more depending upon the games that are there this is a network card now I'm not picking this up but I picked this up to kind of show you um, with these what you want to see right here under the performance is 10 capital G then BPS in lowercase 10 gigabit cards this is just a 1 gigabit kind of dime a dozen and it uses an old style connector so this isn't worth it I wouldn't pick this up new or used all right let's continue on down wait for a break in the music too something I rescue because I've never seen this before but it's 1994 Star Trek that's a Klingon bird of prey inside a snow globe battery compartment is thrashed I'm going to clean it up but $10 might be a personal purchase I think this goes with it I have to double check this really quick hard goods here hmm, look at this Missing a leg though. Hmm. It's 
sort of stoneware. Decanters or apothecary. Target. What is this? Nothing. Some shoes. Yeah. Let's go look at the shoes. Just recently sold a bowler cap that I found here. Oh, 100% wool bowler cap. Picked it up here for I think it was $5.99. That sold for $40. So, I don't know, I think I just got lucky with that one because I typically don't find great hats here. One issue, uh, damage. One issue, uh, with wallets here especially is they put these little clips on it. And sometimes on the leather, this will leave an indention on it which is kind of annoying. But, we'll take a look at the wallets right now. And... Yeah, nothing, nothing. Not really, really much here today. Betsy maybe now. Not Betsy's not even worth it. Alright. Mm. Stacks camera at the glass. I'll go over it at the end because they have to hold it. And uh, pick up these. I don't know about the backing here. Brooks goes for in 20s. They should go for about 40. And they want $17.99. We do get 20% off. Um, I don't know. I'm leaning towards not getting them because they have when some you know when people slide their foot in here, it's parts really scrunched up on the inside. I think I'm gonna leave them. Alright, let's head on out of here. Hey everybody, welcome to the end of the video. I know that was a short trip over at Savers and that's because I'm gonna do my Legos today. We're gonna go over some Legos, what to look for, rare Legos, expensive Legos. And I have part of, this is just from my collection. So this is my collection of Legos. Um, I will post up, I'll talk about a few rare ones that I don't have, uh, one I don't have anymore. Um, but, this is the store up here. This is the storage area. If you see some of my earlier videos, I do have video from here, even a little tour of this area, but everything goes in boxes once it's been listed up here. And then we pull it once it sells, and then we take it downstairs and um, package it all up and send it on its way. Um, so I'm trying to make sure to get the lighting right because it's later in the day up here, so the lighting is not the best. So I was trying to get that light working, that light going, and hopefully everything looks good um, when I go to get this video ready to go out. But, okay, um, when it comes to Legos, the best thing to do and the best thing to find, brand new sealed, easy. All Legos have a number, easy to look up, and nothing to do. Like, just like how I talk about computer parts, you know? You don't have to be a computer expert if the computer parts are brand new sealed in the box. Just look it up and, you know, buy it. And if it's a good price and you can sell it for more, do it. You don't have to test anything out. Nothing. Brand new sealed. Piece of cake. Um, obviously, you want to make sure you buy things at the right price so you can make a profit. That's what this game's all about. Buy low, sell high. But we're going to look at minifigures because minifigures hold the most value. And the series that hold the most value are Star Wars ones. 
There are some others from other sets that do have value, but Star Wars tend to be um, the work the most. So that's what we're going to mostly look at today. And that is m what's mostly in my collection are Star Wars. And it's a small portion of my collection. So basically what I was able to get out and to not make this video hours and hours long. So first off, I'm going to show you some old Star Wars pieces. These are brand new in the box, but the boxes are crushed. And these these pieces were found at the flea market, and so we have. And I'm I'm gonna look them up on my phone because I really don't know what the value is of these, what the current market rate is because I don't really look them up. They're in my collection, so I don't have a need to really look these up. But we'll look them up live. Oh, first off, what I wanted to show you, um, for those of you that didn't catch that video, but this one here, this Lego sarcophagus. Look out for it if you do see it. It is a container. And it has a set in it. it. And this came with a set of Legos. So look out for it. And this is an old, old from the 90s. Late 90s, that is. And this should go for about $200. This is the Lego Adventures Treasure Raiders 5909 set. Look out for it. Found it at Goodwill. I got it for, I think it was $559. So $559 goes for $200. Bucks, but it's a collector's piece now in my collection. Uh, okay. Oh, let me get my phone. I'm, I gotta make sure I have my phone ready so that way I can look these up as I'm pulling them out here. So, first off, we have an the old original Star Wars Lego. This is the Land Speeder from A New Hope. We have Luke Skywalker and Ben Kenobi. While it is ripped up, it's still sealed inside there in the plastic. So, even though the box is ripped open, check to see if the bags are still sealed. If all the bags are in there and they're sealed, it still will can be and will probably be a great purchase. So Lego 7110. That's easy. The number is right there on the box. Easy to look up. And let's just look at new just for the sake of the video. Instead of looking for ones with, with broken, yeah, with that are open and all that. We want to go to sold listings. I don't have it on sold yet, so I'm gonna make sure to set it. And this set in well, probably, I mean, in this condition, I'll probably go a little bit less than this, but $60 for this set right here is what the current rate is going for. So box condition, though, does for collectors, does mean a lot. So you probably have to take it down a little bit because of the condition of the box. If it's a really rare set and there's not really that many out there, maybe you can ask a little bit more, even if the box is damaged. Next set here, we have Star Wars. This is from the throne room. This is from... Um, Return of the Jedi, as you can see, the Emperor and Darth Vader. And obviously this, <laughs> this box is smashed, but it's still, trust me, it still has value and it's still sealed on the inside. Um, this set in new condition, we'll just do new. Obviously, you know, we, we'd have to take some, some money off because of the condition of the box. But this one goes for about $90 if it was in great condition. 80 to 90 dollars so obviously in my condition probably a little bit less maybe more like 60 bucks in the condition i have it in then we have another little set here these are found at the flea market by the way this is uh jabba's little palace i guess when the droids first meet uh who's that bip fontuna funtuna I, I never can pronounce his name bip fortuna so cool little set right there and this goes for me seven five. This goes for fifty to sixty dollars. So for that little set right there. Obviously, again, I, I'm not going to continue to say because of the condition. So you guys get it. Okay. And then the the big one here out of this box, I was able to open up. Let me get this one ready. This was just one box I had quick access to so i can make the video but there's plenty there's there's tons of legos here to you guys this one currently sells for around 300 dollars um brand new in good condition but this is legos lego <laughs> it's lego set number 4480 which is jabba's palace try not to get the reflection in it so you guys can see it so really cool set one of the originals, and 
yeah, I mean, the box is in great condition, but everything's still sealed on the inside. So definitely some older Star Wars sets to be on the lookout for. And like some of the little ones, obviously they don't go for crazy, I mean, but you're still looking like 50 bucks a box probably um, for the smaller ones. Obviously the Java set, you know, that's a $300 set. Now this one here, mind you, this is two, this one here, this one's $200 in used condition for this set right here. So that's 200 used. Brand new, I think it was like double that, so. But that was a really old, that was an old set. I think that's older than the Star Wars ones. Okay, so let's go through these minifigures now. We're gonna look these up one by one. Um, I hope I remember what sets they're coming out of because I don't. Uh, let's just go on the top, we'll go top down. And I'll pick out, I grabbed the, the container. So these are my, these are how I store my Lego minifigures. Containers like this, these are Play-Doh boxes. And I just have a whole stash full of these. So I just pulled the ones out that I that I can find quickly enough that have rarer figures in them, or more, you know, more expensive figures, basically. Or what I think they're more expensive. As I look them up, they might not be that expensive. So, um, okay. First, right off the bat, here's a big one right here. This I know this is a big one. So, and I have the lightsabers and accessories for pretty much... I think I have the accessories for pretty much all the minifigures in my collection, so. Okay, there's the minifigure there. This is Darth Malgus. This is from the Star Wars video game, the mass multiplayer, um, the Old Republic game. So they did release some sets for video games. Look out for those because those, once they're gone, they're gone. And this Darth Malgus, Darth Malgus minifigure. Currently goes for last sold $189. There's one for $153, $175. So Darth Malgus, kind of like a Darth Vader-ish character. But as you can see, he just has the mouthpiece and his head's not covered. So it has a cape and it comes with a lightsaber. If you don't find the lightsabers, lightsabers are a dime a dozen. So I mean you can always add a random lightsaber to it, like a Darth Vader lightsaber, if you don't have one for this guy. But Darth Malgus, there he is. Even some of the individual pieces, like the headpiece, this uh, neck piece, even those can sell pretty well because the prints on those, I mean, they're not making those prints anymore. So about $150 to $175 for that one figure right there. Now another one, I think this one's still pretty rare. Let me see. Galen Merrick. And this is also from a video game. This one might be a little bit harder to find because it's a little more... The face is kind of generic looking, but it's really the top that really... So this is Galen Merrick, um, codenamed Starkiller. And this is also from a video game. And this one goes for about $50 to $60. There's one here as high as $75, so look out for that one. Um, he also has a companion here. Let me see. Let me see what that's worth it. Eclipse mini figure, mini figure. Okay. Uh, oh, the the companion figure only goes for about ten dollars, but <clears throat> it's this one here. It's Juno. Uh, her name is Juno Eclipse. Juno Eclipse. Yeah. So also from the video game. This is from the Force Unleashed series. So, uh, and then there's also a Darth Vader. Let me see. Darth Vader, Force Unleashed. So this one... There's also Darth Vader. This one doesn't go for, like, crazy valuable. I mean, if you had them all together, you're probably looking at about $100 to $120, but this Darth Vader figure goes for about $25, so... If you, could, if you find it out there. A little more unique Darth Vader character, so maybe a little bit easier to spot out of all the other figures as well, too. Yeah, let me open the windows. Can I see the sun coming out? So hold on one second. Okay, I hope that helps with the lighting. It wasn't supposed to rain today, but then it got really cloudy and dark, and it did rain. So, um, luckily, we were able to go to the flea market, though. So, we got that out of the way. Okay, so next up is Lego... Star Wars The Old Republic minifigure. I don't remember the name of this character. Oh, so it's 
Kao or K K A O Sen, and it's from uh, the the multi uh, mass multiplayer video game Star Wars: The Old Republic. And here he is right here. This one goes for last sold for one hundred and twenty five dollars. So here's another one, and as you can see, he's a uh, he looks like um, the same species as. Um, right now jeez come on um i was gonna say darth malik because that's the last article i was reading uh but it's darth um god why can't i think of his name he's a zabrak zabrak character that's a species um it's gonna come to me in a second because i know i, I wanted to talk about that that character as well too um, so that's also from the video game. These two are miscellaneous little troopers from the video game as well, too. These ones go with the Darth Malgus character. Not incredibly valuable, like $10, but definitely if you have more in a set, it's definitely worth it. I'm going to take a quick little Google image search. And Google image search will really help you identify minifigures. Because I don't remember the name of this guy, but this is just called Sith Warrior. Okay. So Star Wars... Sith Warrior minifigure. Okay, let's see this one. A lot of people believed he was associated with another character, but... Okay, this one here, last sold for $75. This is also from the um, uh, Star Wars video game, The Old Republic, as well, too. So, another one, kind of a little bit more easier to identify. Hopefully it picks it up. There we go. Put my face behind it, and you get it. There he is right there. So, really cool character, actually. I really like the printing on this one. So, and as you can see, these are all from a... Vi these ones I just showed you are all from a video game, a Star Wars video game. So, it's been retired. It's been long retired, so it's no longer around. Here's one from the Rebels. If I can remember... I have two of these. One of them... This Actually, this one is incomplete because it doesn't have her helmet. And I think the other one is in here somewhere. It's in. It is in here because I have the helmet to this character as well. So let me. This is Sabine Wren, and let's see. This set. It's a Star Wars figure. So it's Sabine Wren. It's from Lego's um, Rebels. Did I say Lego's Rebels? I meant Star Wars Rebels. The cart. The cartoon that was on. Was that on Disney Plus? I think it was on just on Disney's Plus. So I do have the complete character. I, um, this is just a partial character. So just partial like this is still worth about $40. She has her helmet, her matching helmet, and two guns. And um, $40 just for this one with just the hair piece. Notice that um, her arms aren't covered. Because I do. there are ones where her arms are actually covered. And with the actual um, Mandalorian helmet and the hair... And the guns, $125 for this little minifigure right here. So Star Wars Rebels minifigure. This one, um, uh, these two actually I got from um, 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 sets that were, they were speeder bike sets, is what they were from. So I'm going to go over this figure. This one really didn't work too much, but probably like $15 or so. But this is a um, Ahsoka Tano from her younger years and younger Lego sets. This one isn't really worth too much, but I do have one in here that is worth quite a bit. That I'm I'm pretty sure it's still worth quite a bit. We're gonna we're gonna look at that right now. I think that is it from here. What is this one? No, that's oh, this one. This is also from a video game. So all these top ones are from the video game. This is um Satil uh, This is Satil Sean. Not I mean this goes probably about 25 or 30 bucks. So Satil Sean. Um, this is also from the from the video game too. So uh, not crazy valuable, but it does have some some value. Okay, I think that's it from this top one. Oh wait, this is um Leia. Here's a Leia one. I think this one is like a hundred ish dollars. Uh, where is that? Here we go, Leia. Yeah, so this one goes for about $100 right here. So this is Leia from um, Jabba's Palace. It does have the helmet here, by the way. As a matter of fact, the helmet is still sealed in the original uh, baggie that it came in. So, And this is from um, 
Empire, I mean, not Empire Strikes Back, it's from um, Return of the Jedi, so when she goes in to rescue Han in her disguise, I'd probably butcher the pronunciation, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> but um, but that's a cool one, too. That goes for about 100 bucks, complete like that. You got to have all the, all the accessories, like with most toys, you got to have, make sure to have the accessories with all these things. Uh, where am I going to put this now? I just put that on there. Um, one second. Okay, and we're back. Now that I shuffle things around a little bit. Okay, let's grab my phone again. Another thing to look out for, too, when you're buying Legos, if you're looking out for Legos, sometimes um, Legos with unique, like, head shapes can be worth quite a bit because, you know, they make those molds, and then maybe if they don't make that set again, um, then it's not worth it. I mean, they're not worth it. If they don't make that set again, then it could be worth quite a bit because they don't make it anymore. They don't make that head mold anymore. I think there's one in here, too, where it is a Star Wars figure that has a unique head mold. What was I looking for in here? Oh, oh okay, this has a pretty good piece in here. Uh, but, I mean, look, this is the... Um, if you guys watched the latest Star Wars series, the Kenobi one, you might recognize this character, but this didn't come out with the Kenobi um, movie. Lego Star Wars Fifth Brother minifigure. And this is the Fifth Brother. This came out in set 75157. Thanks to Google Image. <laughs> and this goes for about $50 to $60. So, um, the fifth brother. So, look out for that one. As you can see, he has a unique, like, head dress up there. So, pretty cool piece. I really like that one. Um, my, 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 my. Here's one Here's one with a unique head dress. And this is from... Um, this is from Star Wars... Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith? Yeah, Revenge of the Sith. This is Jedi Agen Kolar? I know I'm butchering the name, so... It's from the Palpatine Arrest series. And this one here... I have his cape and everything in there already. This one goes for about $120, so... E kind of easy to recognize with that headpiece right there, so... There's a couple, actually, that look similar to this, but they're not quite. And then... Oh, this guy is... Pr I think this is a pretty good one. This is a fairly modern one, but I do have the older one. I don't think I pulled it out. Um, let me just... Uh, this guy is Quinlan Voss. So this is Quinlan Voss. This is from the... This is from the set. Uh, it goes for this one goes for about hundred bucks, but there is an older one. And I'm not sure how much that one goes for, but this one goes for about hundred bucks. This is from the I believe it's called the Turbo Tank set, Lego Turbo Tank. So there's a really nice figure right there. So about hundred bucks right there for that guy. And you know, all all most of these, unless I say otherwise, are complete with um with lightsabers. I have all their lightsabers with them and everything. This one here. Let's give me this guy here. This is um, Savage Oppress. <laughs> I said so. The one Darth that I can't remember is his brother. <laughs> and the name is right on the tip of my tongue. And I'll probably scan it when it when I uh, I'll scan it and remember the name. Lego Savage Oppress minifigure. I can't believe I, I can't remember it really. My memory is is shot at the moment. Um, that would, doesn't really go for that much. I'm surprised. Well, I guess if you have the lightsaber with it and everything, it's about between $20 to $30. Um, oh, lightsaber and... Oh, he also comes with a uh, one of these. So if you have all the accessories with it, then... Yeah. So uh, like twenty. I thought this, was, this one went for more. You get in the camera. There we go. But Savage Oppress. <laughs> I'm gonna remember his brother's name. Oh, before I close this, here's the. This is a big one. This is actually. So this figure came. This one I'm about to show you came in a Star Wars set that was exclusive to Toys R Us when Toys R Us was around. It's from Lego Rebels, and it's Ahsoka Tano. It's her older version when she was in Rebels. So let me just make sure. There's so many different variations of Ahsoka, even in her older version. They did make one, um, a more modern set, smaller set, 
but it just has different printing on it. So sometimes you got to pay attention to the printing. So it's really difficult sometimes to identify, you know, what's, what has, you know, which ones are incredibly valuable, which ones aren't. Like stormtroopers, there are some stormtroopers with certain printings on their helmets that are worth quite a bit. I have one that I was trying to look for. It's somewhere in my collection, but it's um, it has a wolf on it. Um, I believe it's called uh, Lego Star Wars Stormtrooper Wolf. They're called the Wolf Pack. No, that's not it. What is it? Are they called the Wolfpack? I think they're called the Wolf. I thought they were called the Wolfpack. Oh, Commander Wolf with an E. It's with an E. Commander Wolf. That's the one I have. Star Wars Lego Commander Wolf. And if you have the Commander Wolf figure, that one too is worth about 120 probably around 100 to 120 dollars i have the older version as well too so it makes it a little bit more valuable because it is one of the original stormtroopers uh a, a commander wolf stormtrooper with the it actually has a wolf print on its helmet so you gotta look out for that you gotta look out for the different printings but let me go back to this one here this is um set number seven five one 75158, thank goodness for Google Image. Because, <laughs> let me tell you, I wouldn't remember it. All right, if you have that set, if you have set number 75158, 75158, 75 brand new, it goes for $500. Unfortunately, mine is not $500. So, or mine's not brand new, I should say. So, but if you see it, get it. Um, and the Just the Ahsoka minifigure, if I can get there. Okay, last sold for this minifigure is right around 300 There's one for 350 So right around $300 for this Ahsoka from the set I just showed you. Look out for it. I would say if you find, see any Ahsokas like this, pick it up. Because you never know. Google image it. $300 figure right there. Okay. Okay. There's that one there. And then, let's see. What was in here? Why did I pick this one out? What was in this set? Oh, here. Okay. All right. Well, here's the other Sabine. This is the other Sabine Wren with the helmet. I showed you that Sabine already with just the hair. But there's the helmet one right there. So. Um... Let's do, oh, here's one. Here's one right here. Okay. All right. Now, this figure here, I don't think this is incredibly valuable, but it definitely has some value. Oh, wait. So maybe it does have quite a bit of value. Sale bar. Let me go. This is Lego. Reese. Okay. This goes for about. It goes for about forty-ish dollars or so. So here's here's one here's one. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, where it has a unique headpiece. You know, the three eyes there. So that goes for about forty-ish dollars or so for that little minifigure right there. Um, this one here. Uh, who was this guy? This is another. This is a stormtrooper, a clone trooper, I should say, because it's from the prequels or from the Clone Wars. Oh, this is Commander Fox. Okay. Lego Commander Fox minifigure. And some of these like come with a lot of um, accessories, which this one does. And this one goes for about $100. So this is Lego Commander Fox. As you can see, he has the little you know, neck piece. He has the waist piece. And he comes with guns. He has like, the helmet piece. So, But I mean, if you just have, you know, without any of the accessory pieces, this will still go for quite a bit. So... Commander Fox right there. So that's a clone trooper. And have some random stormtroopers in here. Who's this one? This one is another clone trooper. This is like um where's this one from? This is from a I believe this is from a Kashyyyk set. Or the the turbo turbo tank set, I believe this guy is from. Commander Oh, it's Commander Gree. Star Wars Lego Commander Gree minifigure. Uh, 
not gree, it's ghee, G-E-E. G -E -E. All right, this one goes for about four. So it goes for about thirty to forty dollars. So pretty cool figure there. But there's another. It's another, just a unique clone trooper, in his jungle armor. So pretty cool figure right there. And I think that's it from that box that I wanted to show you guys. Another box here. What else we have? Oh, this guy's really cool. So this is also from the Rebel series. Um, let me pull this out a little bit because I don't want that to to fall. Okay. Some of these guys I can never remember their name. Darth Maul. <laughs> that was the character I was looking at, <laughs> or I wanted, to, or I was thinking of, was Darth Maul. Okay, Lego, Lego Star Wars. We're not going to spoil. Okay, and this one here currently goes for about 100 to $120. So this is Zeb or Orelos. I can't pronounce it. But that's the character right there you want to look out for. So nice character. I know this guy went for a lot more uh, a, few, a couple years ago. But... Um, yeah, about 100 to 120 dollars. So, look out for it. A good character to find, and from the Lego Rebel series as well. I think this character also goes for quite a bit. Here's another Sabine Wren, um, and I don't, if I remember correctly, this did not come with hair. Okay, this one goes for about 50 dollars. I'm sorry, it came with hair, but does not come with a helmet. And as you can see with this one here, she actually has sleeves. So another Sabine Wren, but still goes for about a hundred. No, it goes for about $50 right here for this one. So, I do have the guns in here and everything too. Here is another really rare one, and probably because, or not rare, but expensive, probably because the um, uh, the Ahsoka series came out and featured him as the bad guy. So this is Star Wars Lego Grand Admiral Thrawn. And this one goes for about um, 90 ish dollars. So this actually came in a really, really small set. And the set, I think, was maybe $29.99 in stores. And this minifigure currently goes for about $80. They currently have not you know, brought this figure back. So there's that one. That was Grand Admiral Thrawn. And I think those are the only ones I wanted to show you out of this bin. I mean, there's more figures in here. It's just not, they're not crazy valuable. I don't I don't necessarily collect, you know, the most valuable ones. I just collect the ones I like. And I buy sets and I usually take the minifigures out and sell the rest of the set if I don't like it or build it or give it away. Um, you know, it's just, I like the minifigures. That's what I like to collect. So at some point I do break down the sets and, there are people that actually sell, um, uh, it, the website's called Bricklink, and you can become a Bricklink seller, and they actually break down sets and sell the individual pieces. So you can make a pretty good living doing that, pretty good you know, amount of money doing that. The only problem is it's kind of tedious, because you got to go through all those pieces and break them all down. you got to know what each piece of this has a number. So This is um, actually not a Star Wars figure, but I do believe... This does hold about $40 in value. This is the Spider-Man Noir. This came out in a Spider-Man, obviously a Spider-Man set. But a cool figure. I bought it as soon as I was able to. When I saw it, I bought it. I knew it was going to be a rarer figure, harder to get later. And I have it in my collection. Really cool figure. What's in here? I, mean, I have a bunch of Spider-Mans just because, you know, I, I, like, I like Marvel, you know, pop culture stuff, all that. Here's a Miles Morales figure I got. Spider Gwen is right in here. That's a pretty cool figure. I, I think she's in a current set right now, too. But... Oh. Oh. I didn't even know this one was in here. This one here was uh, from the original Ant-Man and let me see this is the yellow jacket so this is the yellow jacket character it's the villain from the original uh ant-man 
Lego, Marvel, Ant-Man, minifigure, yellow jacket. This one goes for about 40 to $50, so... I have all the all the pieces. It has two arms on the side. Well, actually, it goes for about... That's kind of weird. What does it say? Is this a re-release? I wonder if they release this character again. This one's saying Ant-Man Final Battle. This might be... It's probably... Based on comps, I mean... They have about $20. I knew this went for more, but... I guess it doesn't really go for that more. It's just a cool figure. So, really cool. I really like that one. I have the rest of the pieces in here, too. Like I've been saying, I'm not going to repeat myself again. <laughs> okay. That was that one there. Kind of mix it up. Not so much Star Wars in the collection. But what's this one here? Why do I have... Oh, let me see this one here. Not sure how much this one goes for. But this is a, a Cartonage uh, Marvel Spider-Man villain. This is actually the original... Um, the original Lego minifigure Cartonage. Carnage. <laughs> if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, how much is this one? This is... Because uh, they did re-release uh, a series with Carnage in it. And it has different arms. But let me just show you that one. And that's a pretty cool figure. One of my favorite characters from Marvel. All-time favorite character from Marvel, though, is Cable. One of my favorites there. But this one's probably about a... It's kind of a, it's kind of got it mixed up with the new one. I don't it's not telling me what set this one came out of. So probably about a twenty twenty five dollar figure, but a cool figure. I thought that one went for more, um, but still a cool figure to look out for. Unique, definitely a unique printing. Then this one here, what's in this one? Why did I bring this one out? Because it has, it has. What's this guy? Does that have it? Uh, why did I pull this one out? Okay, let me just. So I do have some other minifigures in here, but this is um. Oh, <gasps> I'm trying to try to piece an accessory. Where did I go? Down there. Okay, can't lose the accessories. Okay, actually, this one because of it, I think probably because it's a unique headpiece. Let me um. This was actually from a uh, a Lego cartoon i don't know if it was canon or not and i'm trying to remember the name of it but i picked up this set anyway this is the m m dash oc hunter droid minifigure and this one goes for about 50 dollars. so and it has it has lightsabers that come with it too as well so this one's pretty cool but this came out of um what was this one from this was from uh this was from a random like one-off cartoon, which I don't really think... I can't remember the name. But it, it was... I don't think it was a canon or anything like that, so... But this came out of that, so... <coughs> really cool. Cool figure. Oh, so I do have these Darth Maul figures, and... So Darth Maul is a really cool character. Really popular character. I would say super popular character. And they made so many of these that there's really not much value in, in Darth Maul. Maybe it's like 10 bucks for the minifigures, but they're still cool minifigures, cool prints. There are different varieties of Darth Maul out there, but again, if you see Darth Maul and someone's trying to charge like 20, 30 bucks for it, it's not worth it. There are so many Darth Maul characters out there. So some of the other ones I'm showing you here, they're a lot more rarer. Or they made less of them. Okay, this is going to be the last... Um, this will be the last uh, actual bin. Or... Uh, yeah, bin of figures. Many figures. And I think this might have the most I want to, I want to show you guys. But So these some of these figures I got from the LEGO Dimensions, which was a video game. And this is uh, um, Gizmo, the Gremlin. I don't think this was ever really in a set other than the Star Wars Dimensions, so I don't know what they're worth, really. I just take a look and see. It's about a $15 to $20 piece, so not bad. 
I have another one here. This is um, Slimer from Ghostbusters. And these are all from LEGO Dimensions. So LEGO Dimensions had a bunch of minifigures in them, and so I started buying them when they came out because I like collecting minifigures. That does not cover six hundred dollars. Oh, what the? That's crazy. Lego minifigure dimensions Slimer. Okay, Slimer goes for about fifteen to twenty dollars for Slimer. Then it comes with hot dogs. We have Marty McFly. It's a really cool figure right there. And this also again Lego mini Lego dimensions. And this one here it would probably be a bit of a harder one to spot. Uh, about $15 for that one. Put that in there. And it comes with a guitar and everything. Let me see which ones. If there's any of these Dimension ones that are really... Uh, they're really worth it. This is... So here are the Goonies characters. About $10. Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Oh, the Stay Stay Puft Marshmallow Man goes for it goes for about fifty dollars for the Lego. This is from Lego Dimensions. Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. So it's pretty cool. Um, otherwise, that is it. That's gonna wrap. Darth Vader Two is not very, you know, not incredibly like the one I showed you earlier. That one does have some some value, some good value. Got dark all of a sudden. Hold on, wait for the camera to catch up. <laughs> Um, but, you know, just the regular Darth Vader characters don't really hold so much value. There's so many Darth Vader characters out there that, just like Darth Maul, they just don't have that much value. The Emperor is not an incredibly, you know, collectible character. They made so many Emperors. So, and then, um, okay, on the screen now, I'm going to pop up right over here some rarer figures to be on the lookout for. They're incredibly rare, though, so they really, really don't come up for um, sale that often. But we have um, uh, Mr. Gold. Mr. Gold came from a LEGO minifigure series release. I forget what what number it came out of. But if you see a gold metallic top hat guy, grab it. Last known last sale I could find on eBay was fifteen hundred dollars, and I don't think I think it was missing his cane. So if you have the cane, could go for a bit more. Complete. I know it was going for up to like five thousand dollars, sometimes more. So quite a bit. The Yoda, the Yoda minifigure came out of um, a Toys R Us. They were doing a sale. Uh, it was part of a um, uh, what do you call it? They were they were selling I, they were selling the Ultimate Collector Series, uh, Luke Skywalker X-wing, and if you bought the X-wing, you were able to buy the um, the I don't know if you were able to buy it or it was thrown in, but you were able to get that Yoda. They made a very limited run. I believe it's only one thousand of those. The Mister Gold was randomly inserted into packs, and I've seen people say there's you know as few as five hundred, and I've heard people say there's as much as ten thousand of them out there, but nobody really knows. Um, so technically, based on what information we have, we do know that the Yoda should be the more rare figure. Um, I had one in my collection. I sold it during the pandemic because I was trying to buy graphics cards for my computer so I can game because we were home and I wanted to game. So I sold that one and I bought, and graphics cards were crazy prices because it was crypto, cryptocurrency mining. So graphics cards were going for fifteen two thousand dollars three thousand dollars just insane prices so i did sell it during the pandemic so i can buy those i would like to get it back at some point um but i'm not going to pay current asking prices for brand new ones which are around four to ten thousand dollars right now um i can't even find a a current sale of one loose so um i sold mine for eight hundred and fifty dollars i think it was eight hundred and fifty if i remember correctly um, and then the goat. The goat has been news as of late because, well, first of all, the goat came in a very old set, and it was the only goat they ever made. The only, you know, uh, animal in goat. It was the only goat animal. No, oh, it was the only goat that they made, um, that Lego made, and it was only in one set, and it was an old set. And there was news several years ago where I think eight 
if somewhere between eight to ten of those goats were found in a Lego store, and in Lego stores they have um, bins where you can build your own character for kids, and they have accessories, and someone found eight of those goats in one of those, and those goats at the time I think were $100 to $120. They go for about $80 now for those goats, if you have any of the original goats. But the reason why it's in the news now is because the latest um, minifigure series, they have a character with a new goat in there, and they're releasing on March 1st a Lego Medieval Town. Yeah, a little, little Lego medie Medieval Town set, and it's going to come with a goat figure in there as well, too. Um, those probably won't be worth as much as the other ones, but they, you know, it made news because they're making goats again. So, um, let me know what you guys think of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit different. Not so much over there at, at um, you know, not so much shopping. And a little bit more information for those of you that maybe are resellers looking for Legos or you're in the toys or you just like Legos or you just want to see my collection. That's cool, too. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me go ahead and think of the video of Savers. Let me know what you guys think of the collection. And please like the video. If you didn't like it, then you could like the video with a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down. Uh, if you want to continue to see content like this, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when my videos release, please hit the bell notification. Otherwise, we'll catch you guys in the next video.